We reviewed a lot of cases this year and have tested more than 100 configurations across our benchmark suite. We've seen some brilliant cases that have been marred by needless grasps at buzzwords, excellently designed enclosures that no one talks about, and poorly designed cases that everyone talks about. Cases as a whole have gone through a lot of transformations this year, which would seem somewhat surprising given that you'd think there are really only so many ways to make a box. Today we're giving out awards for the best cases in categories of thermals, silence, design, overall quality, and more. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermal Grizzly, makers of the Conductonaut liquid metal that we recently used to drop 20 degrees off of our coffee lake temperatures. Thermal Grizzly also makes traditional thermal compounds for use on top of the IHS, like cryonaut and hydronaut pastes. Learn more at the link below. So this is basically an end of year awards show for cases. We have a few of these coming up. And for this, we are focusing strictly and entirely on cases we've reviewed in the last year. So before anyone's like, but where's my case? It's because we didn't review it probably. And we have all the individual reviews on the site and on the channel for these cases. If you are interested, we'll have links to the cases in the description below if you want any of them. And then we'll have a link to the review for each one of those. The first award is for best out of the box thermals. Contrary to the name of the award title, we don't actually just point an IR gun at the case when it has literally just come out of the box. No, this award is for best thermal performance in a stock configuration, meaning no added fans or removed panels. We reviewed the Silverstone Redline 06 Pro back in May, and for the past six months now, the RL06 Pro has remained fully uncontested in its top position on the charts. The case is being kept around for a standard in our benchmark suite as its thermal performance is second to none in its stock state with what we've tested this year. This performance is a combination of Silverstone's triple fan intake, thin metal mesh front panel, and mid-tower layout. The mid-tower layout keeps everything closer to the fans and exhaust, but the front mesh is where the case pulls ahead. Other mesh panels and cases with mesh have tried and failed to outmatch the RL06 this year, and that's largely because the red line uses a mesh that's not overly dense in its creation. The Redline 06 maintained a 47.8 degree CPU temperature in our CPU torture test, planting it firmly ahead of everything else. The next closest case, stock, was the Corsair 570X, so honorable mention there, with its three 1500 RPM fans. The Silverstone RL06 Pro only gets beaten when we start adding $20 fans to the Meshify, which of course would also be outdone by the Redline if we replaced its fans with $20 units. GPU temperatures have remained fully chart topping in our torture test as well, with a 47.1 degree readout in the torture workload. The next closest was the Thermal Take View 71 at 48.7. The case offers no frills and focuses entirely on airflow. It's also $70, and its noise levels are decidedly unimpressive, but not insultingly loud either. Honorable mentions go to the Thermal Take View 71 for GPU thermals when it's horizontally mounted. And that's a case that surprised us in its thermal performance overall. Another honorable mention goes to the Corsair 570X for stock CPU thermals, but the 570X really just achieves it by brute force with a lot of high speed fans in the front panel. In contrast to best thermals, we now look for best silence. The Be Quiet Pure Base 600, coming from an aptly named company, has maintained a set of high ranking and top ranking results for the silence benchmarks. At low RPMs, which would primarily be used for idle or low load operation, the Pure Base 600 measured at 29 dBA for full system noise, the top result. Our noise floor is about 26 dBA, so this is only barely audible over room ambient. At these RPMs, of course, thermal performance isn't great, so you might flip the switch to go up to max RPMs for gaining performance. During these higher load scenarios, the Pure Base 600 maintains a 33.7 dBA noise level, and the minimum fan RPMs give us absolute silence for the most part, which allow us better noise levels during idle operation. We'll give an honorable mention to the BitPhoenix Shogun at 1000 RPM. This case is highly polarizing in its design, but is overall sturdy construction quality with moderate performance. It's not for everyone, but worth considering. The next award is for best overall design. This award looks strictly at the construction quality, layout, and design of the case and its panels. This award goes to the NDXT H700i. The H700i took a bit of a beating for its coupled smart device, which raised price unnecessarily, wasn't fully intuitive, and barely worked, and that can easily overshadow the case itself. We asked in our review for an H700D, D for dumb, 
because the case is brilliant in all of its aspects except for the smart device. Panel construction quality is top class, avoiding plastics nearly everywhere, and the panels are both easily removed and securely fastened. NDXT's designer made artistic use of ventilation holes to pattern the entire case, top to bottom, inside to out, with a metal ventilation mesh in the top panel, front panel, and atop the power supply shroud. This is both functional and good looking. Cable management makes use of mounted routing channels, making rivers of cables along the back side of the case, and the eject button on the rear panel makes for the most easily secured and removed side panel that we've worked with this year. NZXT's build quality and ease of installation features are top class with the H700i, and although the case is marred by its smart device, which worsens the value proposition, it is otherwise well designed. If NZXT makes a dumb version of the H700i in the $120 to $150 price range, it'd be a go-to choice for sure. For now, we give the chassis itself the Best Overall Design Award for 2017. Our next award is for Best Full Tower and focuses on looking at our reviewed list of cases for the overall feature set and performance that you'd want in a large case. This one goes to the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 enclosure with a very close honorable mention to the likes of the View 71. We first reviewed the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 this year with the white edition of the case. The enclosure has a fully invertible motherboard layout, but does it in a way that doesn't ruin the rest of the case's quality. The enclosure uses thick paneling and glass to trap lower frequency hums, which can only reasonably be contained with that thicker paneling and a larger chassis. It secondarily uses foam damping for higher frequency noises like coil wine, and the Darkbase Pro 900 has a few unnecessary frills to it, like the Qi charger that we don't really find necessary or that useful, but its construction quality takes the win for full tower categories. A mix of reasonable airflow and lower noise outputs, although not chart topping for either, aids the Darkbase Pro 900 in its winning for this category. Again, the View 71 isn't really as full of a full tower as the DVP 900, but it's worth looking at, as is the C700P, which is just a very specific case, depending on your use cases, but the C700P is another large one that we looked at this year. Our next award is for best presentation of the PC, where the case is more of a showcase than anything else. This one goes to the Thermaltake Core P3. It's less of an enclosure and more of a set of guidelines to mount the components to. The Thermaltake Core P3 can be wall-mounted, configured as a flat test bench, or stood up normally. The case is basically a large steel box inside of which are where the cables hide, and it's accompanied with liquid cooling mounts, vertical GPU support, and component arrangement that focuses on showing off a high-end PC. This is an example where trends, our next topic, can be put to actual use. Because the case is best suited for liquid cooling configurations and showroom style setups, the open air presentation works, the vertical GPU mount is distanced enough that it doesn't trap thermals too much, and the case even works fine for air cooling. Of course, it's not great if you have pets, for example, but a wall mount mostly fixes that. Best all around goes to the Fractal Meshify C, a case that we ended up buying for review following its popularity. The Meshify C is a remake of the Define C, which we already liked but had called Warm in our review. Although the Meshify doesn't do much to resolve this in its stock configuration, the case ascends the charts rapidly, landing toward or at the top once adding fans to the front. The open mesh front has a unique look, but also accommodates additional fans exceptionally well, pushing all that air straight into the nearby components. We already praised the Define C for its cable management, ease of installation process, and overall build quality in an intentionally subdued design, and the Meshify is an extension of all these things, but with better airflow for additional fans. What puts the case into the best all-around category, though, is its affordability. The Meshify is $80 presently, making it one of the most affordable cases on this list that also implements reasonable airflow with its more strategic use of tempered glass and industry trends. The next award goes to the dumbest trend. The dumbest trend goes to form over function, which includes things like excessive and needless use of tempered glass, RGB LEDs in every corner and crevice, a lack of USB Type-C support, closed off front panels with zero ventilation and raised GPU clocks as a result, and the industry's desire to throw every single fad at a box without thinking about why they're doing it. Vertical GPUs are a good example. They can be pretty cool, but they often incinerate against the side panel of a case. 
Each of these trends has its place in an enclosure, but a line must be drawn when it's clear that a manufacturer is just gluing panels and LED strips to a case while hacksawing out a vertical GPU mount in a case that's clearly not built for it, followed up by sticking a 1980s cartoon robot front panel onto the enclosure. Oh, and not to mention that tempered glass panels that are painted black and stuck on the cable side of the case are kind of silly too. So that rounds out our case awards for the year. The next look at cases will be more of a, uh, a very specific focused look at one aspect of cases coming up soon. This panel's kind of chipped and broken. It actually came like that. Uh, speaking of trends though, yeah, trends overall for the case industry, very clearly form over function for this year. It's probably gonna continue a bit for next year, but we'll have a separate piece that talks about trends for the industry as a whole, closer to CES, which is coming up in January. And of course, as always, plenty of other content between now and then. So if you like this type of content, you can subscribe for more. Support us directly on patreon.com slash gamersnexus so we can buy more strips like this from China. And you can go to store.gamersnexus.net to pick up a shirt like this one or one of our new decal stickers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.